video, I'm going to teach you how you can make a lure command with Streamlabs CloudBob. My name is Streamy and I make streamy support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. If you have any questions about streaming, feel free to hop in and just ask. The first thing you want to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in. Now we go to the left, under the features tab, there is something called CloudBob. Click on that. Go to command and click on add command. Here we have templates. If you click on the templates, you can click on lurk. Right now it made a lurk command. Exclamation mark lurk. It says now um, the feels bad emote. The person's name who typed the lurk command is now lurking. They will be missed. And then the feels bad emote again. This me part basically makes the color of the text be the same as the color of the bot name. So if the name of the bot is blue, this text is going to be blue as well. If you don't want that, remove the me part. If you don't want the emotes, remove these emotes part. If you want the whole text to be different, we can just delete everything but the name part. You need to leave this piece of code because this code is the name of the person who is going to be lurking. So what we do is, or we just keep that what we had just a second ago because that's just totally fine. Or we do this, username um, is going into lurk mode. Have a nice lurk. If you want an emote after this, make sure that the capitalization is the same as the emote capitalization in Twitch. So for example, Kappa needs to be with a capital K. If you want to use your own emotes, this is possible, but you have to pay for a subscription for your bot to do this. If you don't want to do this, you can only use general Twitch emotes. And then you want to keep this on chat and you want to keep the permission on everybody. There are advanced settings here as well that you can set a global cooldown, a user cooldown, and some base cost. You want the, you want to keep the cost on zero, 100%. And then here, what you can tweak a little bit with is the global cooldown. If you don't want multiple people to be able to type the lore command and get a re response from the bot quickly, uh, you probably want to set this on like five seconds. Now, if I do exclamation mark lurk in the chat, the next person can only do that after five more seconds. So the bot will not be spamming. There's also a user cooldown, so if I put exclamation mark lurk in the chat, I cannot do this for another 60 seconds, it says now. We can also make that 10 seconds. We can make that any kind of seconds you want. But keep in mind that these are seconds and user is just the person who did the command and global is the rest of the people out of the chat. Now with aliases, this is if you want the commands to trigger when somebody says something else. So for example, um, Sleep. Oh, sleep. I can't type. So now, if people do exclamation mark sleep, it will also trigger the lurk command. We also have keywords right here. Keywords are different. Keywords can be anywhere in the sentence, and you don't have to use an exclamation mark. So if you do lurk... Oh, by the way, click on add alias if you actually want to add it. If you do lurk and we add this keyword, now if anybody says lurk anywhere in a sentence, this will trigger. It will say that that person went into lurk mode and, and it will say have a nice lurk, right? Um, and keep this just on off. So now this will also trigger if I'm just saying, huh, maybe I'm gonna lurk in a bit. Then it will just still say that. I think that's a little bit spammy, so I would recommend not doing that. Maybe you want an alias like sleep or anything else that may be something in your language. But otherwise, just leave this empty as well. Obviously, you can also type this whole thing in your own language. So if you are, for example, Dutch, um, username So for example this, username, that's the name of the person Kat Lurke bedankt voor het Lurke That is just the Dutch version of saying username 
is going to lurk. Have a nice lurk. Well, thank you for lurking, I guess. Thank you for lurking is what we're saying. But you can change this language in whatever you want. I'm not good at any other languages, so I just keep it at Dutch and English because that's, you know, what I know. I know a little bit of some languages, but I can't actually make sentences of those, so, you know, I can't actually speak them. And then what we do is confirm it. What we need to check is that this thing is to the right. That means that this command is on. We also want to make sure that the cloud pod is on. This needs to be to the right. If they're blue, it's good. Now we're going to go to our Twitch channel. We're going to a chat and then we type slash mod stream labs and then press enter. Right now we may stream labs a moderator in the chat and it can do a lot more. What we need to do as well is test the Lord command. If it works, Trui, Kat Leuke, bedankt voor Leuke. That is the Dutch version we just set up and it totally worked. Yay! It was super easy to set up a lore command, but I have a lot more tutorials about Streamlabs commands. Hop into this playlist with me and I will see you in one of these other command videos.